Thank you, uh, Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Papias Musafiri, Minister of uh, Youth and uh, Science and Technology. The U.S. Ambassador to Rwanda, Mrs. Erika Bax Ruggles, other members of uh, the Diplomatic Corps, Deputy Special Representative for Global Partnership, U.S. Department of State, Thomas Dibas, Deputy Special Representative, uh, ex sorry, the Executive Secretary of the Eastern Province, uh, representative from uh, schools across Africa, partners from uh, Intel, AOL, Foundation, Microsoft, Girl App, Rwanda Girls Initiative, the Executive Camp Director Joseph Sengimana, dear parents, young lady participants of uh, the YSI Camp. A very good afternoon to you all. It's wonderful to be back at the Gashora Girls of Science and Technology today, and I'm particularly delighted to join all you brilliant women in science and innovation for the camp, for the summer camp graduation. Let me hope you all had such a refreshing experience, so refreshing that you didn't get to miss home. These are a few opportunities that parents are happy with when you tell us that you didn't miss us doing such a wonderful thing. So when this school opened in 2011, I recall telling the girls who were here at that time how interesting it would be to hear about future innovations that would emerge, and thanks to the conducive learning environment that the Gashora Girls provides. Our expectations have exceeded, have been exceeded, judging from the project you have uh, displayed and the skills you possess. And hearing that you girls have uh, learned in just three weeks is extraordinary. If you think technology is impressive, try combining it with uh, the power and you see that you see in each one of you. And I can assure you this is explosive. Thank you. I wish to thank the organizers and partners for selecting our country, Rwanda, to hold this science and innovation camp. I wish also to acknowledge the Let's Girl Learn initiative championed by uh, the First Lady Michelle Obama, the US State Department, the, technologies the technology companies, our Ministry of Education, and all those who had a hand in making this camp successful. We hope to see more of these camps offering unique learning opportunities to, girl, to girls across Rwanda and the continent. Rwanda is pleased to have hosted the first Women in Science and Innovation summer camp of its kind. The camp comes as a timely complement to the solid foundation that has already been laid, and I believe it will provide us with new pathways for action in the areas of science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics, the STEAM. What we see in Rwanda today is a, a heavy investment and a high level of commitment towards promoting girls' education. It's a modern day application of the high regard that our culture has always placed on women. Historically, Rwandan women were treated with great respect and seen as a quiet force. Women were often consulted before any important lessons were made. And guided by our culture and the current leadership, we are sparing no effort in addressing all the dimensions of exclusion, which prevent girls from participating fully in every aspect of productive life. It's important to take a holistic approach when it comes to uplifting girls and women and to establish, to establish the right environment in homes, at school, in the workplace, in communities, and indeed in any place that a girl or woman may find potentially constraining challenges. Young girls, 
ladies and gentlemen. To put everything into perspective, allow me to share just a few achievements Rwanda has registered in favor of women and girls, without, of course, for forgetting the boys. Over the last 21 years, 84,000 students have graduated from 38 higher learning institutions, compared to about only 2,500 students that graduated from independence up to until the eve of the genocide. We have come a long way, and the journey continues. Today, primary school enrollment stands at 96%, uh, meaning we have achieved universal primary education, with girls' enrollment rate at primary school as high as 98%. Gender parity has all so been realized. <laughs> Under the 12-year basic education program, public school is free from grade one to 12. This has helped improve re retention rates, especially for girls, due to proximity of schools to homes. A one laptop per child is a program that has expanded knowledge in STEM for thousands of primary school children by introducing technology into education at an early stage. Over the last five years, about 15,000 classrooms were constructed mostly by our armed forces alongside ordinary Rwandans to make room for more students to receive an education. By 2013, we had 52% girls enrolled in STEM courses at secondary level. It's encouraging to see young, bold women entering into our Air Force and uh, national airline, the Rwanda Air, as pilots and engineers. We hope to see this number increase in the future. We have uh, 1,814 uh, female police officers on our force, with 160 currently serving in peacekeeping missions in various countries. 97% of girls aged 11 to 15 have been immunized against the cervical cancer with the HPV vaccine. And it's a constitutional right to have 30% women in decision-making positions in the public sector. Rwanda enjoys the highest female legislative representation worldwide at 64%. Uh, 40% of the cabinet is made up of uh, women, and the, the judiciary has 40% women as well. <laughs> Laws granting equal inheritance rights to men and women were put in place in the late 90s. Men and women with the same competencies and capabilities have the right to equal pay for equal work without discrimination. These few statistics are testament to the fact that the right environment exists. What remains is for girls, the families, and communities to work hard together to provide space and resources for our young girls to blossom and for their true worth to shine through. At the foundation I, I, led, I lead, the Imbuto Foundation, we conduct a campaign every year to empower young girls, most of them your age, by awarding those who excel at school. Over the last 10 years, 4,000 girls have been awarded for academic excellence. And once the girls are awarded, they become part of a network. We like the word network. This is a platform whereby the girls' father empower one another, mentor their younger sisters, and remain connected. Let this come be the beginning of a powerful network of, I mean, for girls in STEAM. And uh, as I end my remarks, I leave you with uh, these few points to reflect upon. Do not be afraid to explore the world around you in all its diversity and dy dynamism. After all, and I quote, 
What technology brings to us individually is the possibility of finding out who we are, more importantly, who we might be. Keep using technology to unleash your talents, be present, observant, and sensitive to the needs of your community, as we were able to witness through the different uh, projects, as to create social change, be a pioneer, discover the tools needed to surprise the world. Go forth and shine, and shine, girls. It's my honor to hereby declare the 2015 YSI summer camp officially closed. Thank you.